It's a heavyweight championship fight between Platinum Mike Perry and Santiago Ponzinibbio. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 30 wins, 7 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Polona. Introducing the challenger, Tatiago Jecheboa Panzanibio. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Platinum Perry. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, nice strike landed there by Perry. Perhaps a 
a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Rock'em, shock him out of the shoot here! Offering there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left punch followed by a right. Nice one two there by Perry. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Santiago Ponzanini. Straight punch lands. Under two minutes in the first round. Oh! Oh! Got the single collar tied. Nice counter there with the left hand. Snaps it off beautifully. Went for the inside leg kick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Into the final minute of this championship fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, beautiful handiwork there from Santiago Ponzinibbio. One of the better boxing games in this UFC welterweight division. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Round two is next. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep... All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, close guard now. Back to the feet now. Nice. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. There, no pad on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Perry. Big leg kick land. Back and forth we go here. Whiffs on that offering. Collar tie here. And they separate. Punch is blocked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Just missed with the left there. Right hand on point. Big ball for Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. And he 
caught the kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Out of range with that one. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Ooh, and he caught the kick. And he continues to work the body here. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Nice straight punch. 20 seconds to go round two. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Final seconds here of round number two. Visibly limping here. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down. Oh, now. he might be out. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. A great punch landed with so much power. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice right hand, John. Timing his shots pretty well here early. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice strike. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Well, he has certainly found it. And right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Big knee to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Leg kick checked by Perry. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, look at the redness on that one appeared to stun him. News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, you got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Superman punch now. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Going to the body there with the right kick. He's limp there, his leg hurting for certain. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful
that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Whoa! Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tatiano Tichibola. 